Hi, it's Vered once again, and I would like to talk with you this time about how do we create a long-lasting change in our life. lasting change in our life? It's one of the questions that I am being addressed so many times. Each person that comes to a session with me, each person that comes to a process, comes with a wish for a change. Otherwise, why they would come <laughs> to a process uh, with me? Or why would they at all find me and try to change something in their own life? I would like today to share with you three steps that I almost always find relevant when I follow a person, when I accompany one of my clients toward a long lasting change in their life. First, maybe let's um, kind of clarify. I don't think that we need to change. I don't think that you are wrong. I don't think that you need to be a different person. If I may say, I think we are perfect just how we are. I understand the wish for a change. I don't say that we should not create changes in our life, but it's not by changing our skin. It's not by trying to be somebody that we are not. So how do we create those kind of changes? How do we address them? And what is it that we would like to do when someone comes and say, I don't want to keep doing that? Or when you yourself or I, when you yourself say, this is what you would like differently in your life. So step one is what happens naturally when someone comes to a process. They share with me what they want to change. It might sound, of course they do, it might sound very obvious, natural, as if we don't, give, we don't need to give it any um, thoughts. But that's part by itself that someone calls me or write me an email or say, hey, I have something in my life that I don't want anymore. I want it different. And then they also sit in front of me and truly share with me and tell me what is going on. I find it one of the most important steps that we all need to do when we would like to have to create a change. If you have a professional that you can um, meet, great. A professional that you trust, of course. But even if you don't have such a professional, even if you don't know where to go, look for a friend, look for someone you can trust. Someone where you feel safe enough to share with them, this is what is going on in my life. These are the changes I would like to see. These are the things I don't like anymore. Let yourself talk, let yourself share. Let, take the time to make it truly meaningful for you. This is would be something that even if you would only do that one step, I'm sure the call for action, the call for change would start unfolding in your own life. The second step I would like to share with you is choose what to focus on. Truly choose. If you found a person that you trust and you share with them something from your life, something that is truly important for you, significant for you, and you would like to say, that's what I would like differently, choose together what is it that you focus on. If someone would tell me I'm too sensitive and I need to change that, of course, we can talk about that, but I don't like to change your sensitivity. I wouldn't like you to be less sensitive than you are. We only need to see how are we going to choose, how are we going to use your sensitivity in the best way for you. And when someone shares with us, or when you think about something that you would like to change, you found somebody, you talk about it, think what do you want to focus on? Is there a problem you would like to solve? Or my suggestion, suggestion is look for your resources. Look for what this 
need of yours, what these issues that you just shared, what does it show about you? So if someone told me I would like to be able, you know, I'm I, if somebody that came for a session and talk how he again and again find himself in a not healthy um, dynamic with his wife. He is angry because she doesn't give him enough attention. She is shrinking herself and they start to argue and you know the drill, you know how it goes and you know that nothing positive come out of such a situation. When I heard him and what I suggested to him is let's start and focus on the part that you at all wants to create a healthy relationship. Your wish for a healthy way of communication is something so important, so significant, so beautiful. And if we just for a moment focus on that before we start to go through all of the, um, you know, before we start to look at all of the problems and what is not okay and what you need to change, we kind of step away from the problem, just like Cloud and me talked about in one of the other videos relating to how do we, relating to problems. We take a step away, we listen and we focus on the strengths. We focus on what makes that person unique. We focus on what makes you relate and wants to create that change. The third step that I would like to offer you is connect to an experience. Within the Pantora approach, we combine hands-on with clarity. It's a combination of touch and a conversation. The parts of touch is not for no reason. The parts of touch is because we would like to embody the change. We would like a person to feel it in their own experience. I don't, you know, sometimes clarity is enough, but often it's not. And often we need to feel something in order to create a long last change. So when I think about that client of mine that came to talk about his relationship with his wife, we understood his strengths. We talked about it. We related to that. But then in the session itself, I added my hands on his chest, on his shoulders, on his neck, on his forehead. I added them in order to connect him to his own experience, to his own body. And then we kind of allowed himself, allowed him or gave the space for him to realize how does it feel when I have a healthy connection with a person. I, I allowed him or I invited him to remember that he has many friends, he has his children that he loves to connect to. He knows how to do that. The fact that he doesn't know to do it right now with his wife doesn't take away from his knowledge. When the hands-on part was in action, he could connect back to how lovely it is for him to communicate, how much motivation it gives him to his life, how much his heart is singing each time when there is a real good communication with another person. So when we allow ourselves to be heard, when we allow ourselves to focus on the strengths, on the uniqueness, and when we allow it all to become an experience and not just a theoretical concept, we manage to create a long last change within those topics that are so important for us. Thank you very much for listening and I invite you to truly look at that and create your own long last changes without changing yourself.